Uh, hello everyone, I uh, hope you are well. I wanted to continue on my legend series and uh, today I wanted to give uh, uh, without any doubt uh, the greatest uh, wicketkeeper batsman of all time, uh, Kumar Sangakara of uh, Sri Lanka who was an absolute uh, gentleman as well and one of the most uh, well-spoken uh, players in cricket who also has a degree in law and is uh, one of the few players uh, to score more than 10,000 runs in one day and uh, test cricket. Uh, he was born 27th October 1977 in Sri Lanka and he is definitely regarded as one of the greatest uh, players in the history of uh, cricket. He was also the captain of uh, Sri Lanka in the 2011 World Cup uh, when they finished uh, runners up to India. In all, he played 134 test matches and he scored 12,400 runs at a stunning average of uh, 57.4. And he scored 38 hundreds and his highest was 319. And in one day internationals he played 404 matches and he scored 14,234 runs at an average of 41.98. And he scored 25 hundreds and his highest was 169. And he also played with Surrey a couple of years in the county championships and played with a lot of teams. And in first class cricket, he scored around 24,000 runs uh, with the 6400s as well. And he has a lot of world records in his name. Uh, he, he holds the highest number of uh, dismissals as a wicket keeper in one day internationals. Uh, and uh, he, he, he's the first player in cricket history to score four centuries in a row in one day internationals. And, Strangely enough, it came in the 2015 uh, World Cup that was held in Australia where he scored four consecutive hundreds. Uh, one was against uh, Bangladesh, then uh, a century against England, a century against Australia and a century against uh, Scotland. And uh, he was the Western Cricketer of the Year in 2012 and uh, two times uh, he was the first player to be the Western Leading Cricketer of the Year twice. And uh, he has also scored uh, 11 double centuries uh, which is <laughs> extremely good and he is the second and he is the second on the list uh, of uh, double centuries I mean as only Sir Don Bradman with uh, 12 double centuries has more double centuries than uh, Kumar Sangakara and uh, Kumar Sangakara was uh, obviously a left-handed batsman and he was such a stylish uh, elegant batsman and a very powerful stroke maker as well I mean he was very uh, good on both sides of the wicket, on the offside and on the leg side. And uh, his cover drive was uh, really very good. He played the cover drive better than um, better than most players. And he also had a very good square cut. And he was very good on the pull. And obviously, being a nation, was very good on the flick as well. I mean, he had all the shots. He was a complete batsman. And he also holds another world record. I mean, the highest uh, partnership in test, cr test cricket in the uh, history of cricket is uh, 624 runs. Uh, that he put uh, for the third wicket uh, with uh, Mahela Jayavardhana against South Africa in Colombo in uh, 2006. And uh, in 2011, I mean, uh, MCC, the Malibona Cricket uh, Club, MCC, uh, invited and they chose uh, Kumar Sangakara as the player to deliver the Spirit of Cricket uh, Cowdery uh, lecture at uh, Lodz, uh, which was a big recognition for Kumar Sangakara, especially being an Asian player as well. And uh, there's also one famous uh, incident in that 2003 World Cup that people might not know. Uh, uh, that's the game that South Africa went out of the World Cup in 2003 when Sean Pollock was the captain and Sean Pollock came to bat and there was a lot of pressure on South Africa and uh, Kumar Sangakara as a wicket keeper was uh, going at uh, Sean Pollock and he said uh, the skipper is under a lot of pressure and uh, Sean uh, is uh, carrying the weight and expectations of uh, 40 million people in South Africa and he was going on and on and even Sean Pollock had a smile on his face and after many years they always used to laugh about that and when he retired I mean Virat Kohli said that uh, uh, Sangakara was an absolutely uh, uh, lovely uh, human being and also said about his uh, technique and how he used to score runs all over the world and that is a uh, number speak for himself and even uh, cricket australia paid a tribute to kumar sangakara they said uh, keeping aside all the test uh, batting fees that he has which is lot he was uh, one of the uh, best uh, true uh, gentlemen of uh,
the game of uh, cricket uh, and that is so true about uh, Kumar Sangakkara. He was also part of that Sri Lankan team that won the 2014 T20 uh, World Cup and that was a testimony uh, or a kind of a tribute to the great uh, Sangakkara and Jayavardhan. I mean even the captain uh, of West Indies Darren Sammy was saying that the almighty wanted to uh, give the World Cup to Sangakkara and Jayavardhan are well deserved, uh, great servants of uh, Sri Lankan cricket. And uh, uh, Kumar Sangakkar, I mean, currently uh, is a uh, coach of the Rajasthan Royals team in the IPL as well. And he was also a, a commentator on Sky Sports for a long time. And like I said, I mean, out of all the Asian players, he's probably one of the most uh, well-spoken uh, people, really speaks uh, extremely well. And uh, there was also one speech that he made after uh, those all incidents in Sri Lanka with a lot of uh, issues in Sri Lanka. Uh, Kumar Sangakkar famously said, I am Sinhalese. I am Tamil, I am Muslim, I am Buddhist, and I am a follower of uh, Islam and Christianity. But above all, I will always be proudly Sri Lankan. And there was a stunning speech uh, made by Kumar Sangakkara, I mean, a player that uh, all the Sri Lankan people always looked up to. And it was a well needed speech at that time where there was a lot of uh, domestic issues in uh, Sri Lanka uh, because of a lot of issues. And uh, Kumar Sangakkara had that great partnership uh, with uh, Jay Vardhan. I mean, after the, both of their retirements, uh, Sri Lankan cricket has uh, never been the same. And uh, he was very good against uh, fast and spin as well. I mean, uh, he was very good uh, against uh, pace bowlers. He had all the shots, like I said, uh, pull hook, hook, uh, square cut, all the shots. And against uh, spinners as well, he swept and he had a, a wide array of shots. He was a complete batsman. And uh, in uh, in the uh, 2011 World Cup, I mean, he was the captain of uh, Sri Lanka uh, when uh, India won that uh, World Cup uh, finals. And there's a lot of things to say about uh, Kumar Sangakkara. I mean, I mean, a wicketkeeper, batsman. I mean, he's the first uh, wicketkeeper uh, batsman to score a triple century in Test cricket as well. Another record in uh, Kumar Sangakkara's name. And he's also uh, one of the very few players uh, who has uh, scored back-to-back uh, -back, uh, double centuries in Test cricket. Uh, very few players have done that. So that is another uh, very unique uh, achievement of uh, Kumar Sangakkara. Uh, he played with a lot of teams, uh, first-class uh, cricket and uh, especially in T20 cricket as well. I mean, he has played in the big bash. I think he played for Hobart uh, Hurricanes. And then he played for Surrey, like I said, in the county championships. And he has played with a lot of uh, different teams. And he was also involved in that uh, very uh, ugly, I mean, unfortunate uh, incident when uh, the the Sri Lankan bus in Pakistan was shot at by terrorists. And uh, they actually, uh, Kumar Sangakkara was uh, very lucky to survive that. I mean, he had injury on his uh, shoulders. And uh, I still remember seeing pictures of him after that incident. And uh, that was uh, one of the most... Uh, unfortunate incidents uh, that happened in cricket and after that uh, the, there was no uh, international cricket in Pakistan for many many years and many teams uh, refused to go to Pakistan uh, but recently some matches are uh, held in uh, Pakistan but that was one of the most unfortunate incidents. Uh, Mayala Jayavardhana was also uh, in that uh, bus uh, and uh, Angelo Matthews uh, the captain of Sri Lanka also said that uh, uh, Kumar Sangakkara was the backbone of the Sri Lankan team. And I've even heard once uh, that uh, Angelo Matthews went on his knees once and uh, pleaded uh, with Kumar Sangakkara not to retire from uh, cricket because uh, he was still playing so well and he had so much uh, more to contribute to Sri Lankan cricket. And uh, Angelo Matthews obviously knew that, I mean, there was no one who could fill the gap uh, that uh, Kumar Sangakkara would leave. I mean, he was just an amazing batsman uh, and he was a true gentleman of the sport. I mean, uh, everyone uh, looked up to him and highly, highly respected around the cricket world, I should say. I mean, everywhere, in all parts of the cricketing world, uh, Kumar Sangakkara is uh, held highly. Uh, I mean, obviously, because of his extremely good batting technique and the way he used to score uh, tons of runs all over the world and also for his character and uh, the way he used to uh, conduct himself on the field uh, he was an absolute gentleman uh, like Virat Kohli said and also like uh, what uh, Cricket Australia said about uh, Kumar, Kumar Sangakkara. Uh, that is my video on uh, Kumar Sangakkara, one of the greatest uh, players in the history of cricket and definitely the greatest uh, wicketkeeper batsman 
that cricket has ever seen. I mean, uh, he has given so much uh, to Sri Lankan cricket and he has given so much to world cricket. An amazing human being, uh, an amazing uh, wicket keeper, an amazing uh, test batsman and one day batsman as well. And he's also the second uh, in ODI most runs list. I mean, after Sachin Tendulkar, Kumar Sangakara has uh, scored most runs in one day cricket. So that is my video on Kumar Sangakara. Hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, please take care. God bless you.